Hey y'all, Deb Evans here with an update about the IRS. As you know, the IRS is way behind in processing tax returns from last year. Um, specifically tax returns that went in the has to be done by a person file. Uh, about 6 million tax returns are sitting in a warehouse and we're waiting for a person to actually process them. Um, most of the automated ones have, have, have gone through, but if your e-filed return had to be looked at by a person or if you'd mailed in a tax return, um, that explains a the delay. They just don't have enough people to do them. The problem has been that a lot of the IRS is automated. And so a lot of automated statements were going out to people, automated letters were going out to people saying, you haven't turned in your tax return, you owe money. Um, and people were freaking out because they did file a tax return, it just hasn't been processed yet. Or they did pay money, just hasn't been applied to their tax return yet. If you sent money in and the IRS says, hey, we got your money, but they haven't processed your tax return yet, then the connection has not been made. So millions of these letters are going out and getting people rightly upset. And so um, several of the, the leading professional associations for tax preparers, uh, congressmen who have been hearing from their constituents, uh, bombarded the IRS and said, you got to do something different. This is not working. And so the IRS announced yesterday that they are going to discount dis or, or pause many of these automated notices. Um, and so you might still get them for another week or so until the computers, you know, <laughs> stop. But do not panic. Uh, if you know you filed your tax return, um, they said you don't have to do anything. Now, if you do owe money, <clears throat> excuse me, and they're sending you a notice and you owe money and you haven't paid the money yet, then I strongly urge you to do that um, because penalties and interest are piling up. So the longer you go without paying that bill, the more it's going to cost you down the road. So if, 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 the, if the notice is correct, um, you might want to follow through with that. Um, but you don't need to try to talk to anybody because they understand that it's practically impossible to talk to anybody right now. So uh, if your return is in one of those processing limbos, um, just, you know, try to be patient. They're just, they're doing the best they can. They have, um, they brought in a lot of people from other departments. So the IRS is underfunded, under, you know, they don't have enough people working for them right now. People are retiring and they're not being replaced. People are quitting and not being replaced. Um, and so they, they just don't have the people. So what they've done is they have, um, transferred people from other departments to focus on this issue. They realize it's a big issue and they're trying to get caught up. In the meantime, the current tax season is processing along. We still have that to go through. So again, if you e-file your return and there's no issues with it, you're going to get your, your refund quickly. Um, everything's going to happen perfectly. But again, if it gets taken out of the automation loop, where a person has to look at it, then you're looking at a lengthy timetable on that one, okay? So what's gonna get it out of the loop? If you received a child tax credit and you report it incorrectly on your tax return, it's gonna be pulled out of the loop. Um, if you don't have your letter that the IRS sent you saying how much they sent you, um, and you don't include that information, it's going to get pulled out of the loop. Same with the third is stimulus payment. Um, just like last year, we have to report what you received um, that's reconciled with what you should have received, and you may get an additional payment, but if those numbers are not um, matching what the IRS computers say, then, which it may, you may be correct, but in a lot of cases last year, people were not correct. Uh, people received the payments and forgot about it. And this was way back at the beginning of 21. Um, so uh, look, for, they're sending you a letter. So look for that letter, go back and check your bank deposits. Uh, the problem is some of them were sent out on those, those debit cards. And so there's no way to track those. But um, if you received a deposit, It'll show up in your checking account. Um, but if you receive the letter and the letter looks correct, 
and you use that information on your tax return, then you should be okay. All right. So again, as long as things are just go along with the computer, it's going to be relatively quickly. Um, but if something takes you out of that loop, just prepare that you're going to be um, waiting a while for your return to be processed. Okay, so I uh, try to be patient, you know, the IRS people who work for the IRS are just people like the rest of us trying to do their job. So, um, so a happy tax season to you. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye bye.